Welcome to one of the most beautiful countries in the world, a country with a rich and deep history, culture, there's some of the best cuisine in the world, and of course, hospitality. Of course, I'm here in Lebanon. Over the recent years, Lebanon hasn't received the best press. You have the explosion, you have the economic crisis, but this series is not what that's about. Over the next four episodes, I'm gonna take you from north to south, east to west, to show you the beautiful diversity, history, cuisine, and culture you can find here. So, welcome to Lebanon. I can't start my day here in Beirut without an incredible Lebanese breakfast. Lebanese cuisine is actually some of the best in the world. Abed, where are we? Our first stop is in the Hamra Street, Te Marbuta. It's a nice Lebanese restaurant. And here you have the Labne, Fate, Kake, of course. This is really nice. Yeah. And uh, uh, Balila, and hummus full, and of course the omelette. Okay, first up, I have to go straight in for the Balila. I love lemon. I'm pretty much addicted to it. And the smell of this is just... It's incredible, let's try it. The lemon is amazing. Wow, this is a mix of bread, chickpeas, hummus, and lemon. I love this. This is the best one so far. Wow, it's amazing. I love the spices on top too. Has lemon inside? Yep. Amazing. After a beautiful Lebanese breakfast over in the historic district of Hamra, I've just arrived here to Marta Square. As you can see behind me, the Muhammad Al Amin Mosque, which was opened up in 2008. Incredible Ottoman style architecture. And as you can see all around me, signs of what's been happening in Lebanon over the past, I would say, 10 years. It even dates back to the Civil War over in the 1970s. I'm going to show you around this beautiful place now. So, this right behind me is called the Egg or the Dome. Started work in 1965 and never actually opened due to the Civil War. But what most people don't know is Lebanon and actually Beirut in particular was the hub of cinema in the region. So they were showing Egyptian films, Hollywood films, actually some of the highest quality films in the world. In Hamra alone, the place where we just came from, they had over 14 cinemas, which was incredible. I wish I could have been there, especially in the 1960s, 1970s, to have seen this beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, so I'm now walking across one of my favorite areas here in Beirut. This is actually downtown. You have beautiful, beautiful buildings, incredible coffee shops. Back burner just behind me is actually one of my favorites here in the area. Beautiful churches, beautiful buildings. And on a day like today where the weather is amazing, it's incredible. Okay, 
Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Bill here. I've just woken up in beautiful Batroom, which is an incredible coastal city here in Lebanon. I've just made it to Fura Mushak. This is an incredibly famous place here in Batroom, opened in 1868. Originally, many years ago, the French used to be here, and there was actually a railway just outside. And they actually used to make baguettes for the French people, but now over time, it's turned into manouche, which is a traditional breakfast here in Lebanon. So, one of the first traditional ones is akewa with spinach, and this one is cheese with chili. Let's try it. Okay guys, after an incredible drive across Lebanon's beautiful mountains, I've just arrived to Balua Bala, also known as Batara Gorge Waterfall, a beautiful waterfall which falls over 250 meters, roughly about 830 feet down the valley. There's an incredible three natural bridges too. I'm gonna to take you down there and show you what incredible natural landscapes lie here in beautiful Lebanon. So we just arrived down after a beautiful hike. This waterfall is just incredible. In just a few seconds, I'll take the drone up and you can see underneath, there's a beautiful rainbow just here and so much water racing down the valley. 250 meters plus is racing down. And because there was a lot of snowfall recently, it's just beautiful. Take a look at this. Okay, so I just arrived here in the beautiful Cedars of God here in the north of Lebanon. Cedars are so important here in Lebanon. Actually, they're represented on the flag. I will put the flag on the screen so you can see it. The cedar is the main image on the flag. The cedar actually represents longevity, immortality, strength here in Lebanon, which is so, so beautiful. This tree behind me actually spans back to six thousand years and the roots go all the way back to a valley five kilometers away. So this cedar behind me is the exact same cedar which is represented on the flag of Lebanon, as I said, dating back to 6,000 years. This guy's stool behind me, his name is Samir. His family's business goes back over 240 years and he is the last of the line of generation here. Let's take a look inside the forest and I'll show you the beautiful sea does here in Lebanon. This is honey from Lebanon, right? Yes. It's really good. Normal honey has an immediate sweetness. This has like a deep, deep sweetness. I can't really explain it. Really good. Nice. Really good. Thank you. How much is a half kilo? Kilo. 
عنده One kilogram is four hundred twenty dollars. Four hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty. Twenty. Yes, and and the half kilo is sixteen dollars. لا 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 لا. Kilo one twenty dollars. Ah, twenty dollars. Okay. Four hundred twenty to one twenty to twenty. You get it free now.